beautiful day. But where I'm riding is actually just, uh, I'm only a couple miles from my house. I'm just out putting around a day. It's really cool to live somewhere like this. Be able to do this every day. I will say I already live out in the middle of nowhere so when I get a few miles from my house I'm pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. I'm just going to do about a 10 mile loop here. I don't know, I got a little single track over here but I think I'm the only one that rides it. I don't know if I'll hit that today or not. I gain about a thousand foot of elevation every couple miles or so. I'm going uphill right now. I don't know if the camera shows that really good, but it's just a slight incline, but it doesn't stop. And right now I'm probably about 4,500 feet and those mountains up ahead of me the top of those mountains is about 10 yeah about 10 maybe higher than that I, I don't know I know the highest one is almost 13 I think or almost 12 I have to look on a map I'll probably forget to do that you see the higher I go changes a little bit I don't really feel like getting on it today I was actually going faster on my KLR the other day than I am on this KTM today this thing just rides so smooth I feel like I'm on pavement right now going 30 miles an hour a lot of times when I go on a really long ride you know 50 to 100 miles or so I don't really go that fast because trying to save fuel and all that plus I like to sit down this is some pretty soft stuff here so Oh yeah, this is gravel with mud underneath. Nice. I always worry about a head-on collision on these trails. In the last decade, I've probably run into somebody out here less than a half dozen times, but it only takes once. Well, not run into as far as hit, but just actually seen somebody out here. It's pretty rare to see anyone else out here, but I think if I do, today is going to be the day. A lot of people out playing. I see a lot of tire tracks on this trail. It just rained, well, it just snowed, so. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty soft. Squishy. Like pea gravel that's all wet. <laughs> Makes it interesting to ride in. Especially going this slow, it's actually harder. My biggest fear is ruts hitting underneath the snow. 
and the side by sides. I'm always on the lookout for side by sides. Those things will get you. Oh yeah, this is soft and squishy here. this since it uh, rained and snowed so I'm always on the worry of uh, washouts that I don't see I'll take it kind of slow the first few passes it looks like it's all right I don't think that much water came through here down 11 o'clock hmm I think I'll go up this road's pretty rocky Mud is one of my least favorite things to ride in. The most unpredictable, I think. This is pretty muddy. Muddy and rocky. So you get on a nice hard pack section, you get confident, and then you hit the mud and crash. I crash a lot. So I'm wearing a lot of gear right now. flat or something. Oh, nice. Mud and ice all mixed together. can't see what's underneath the snow. The snow will be nice and flat and there could be like a big old rock or two foot ditch or something. Oh well. Let's see what happens. I really like this trail because every time it rains it's totally different. got to be careful on it. Some pretty big rocks on here. Anywhere from the size of... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, slippery. here up 
bird was pretty cool. He didn't seem too worried about me. I guess more just annoyed. You gotta watch out for the plants around here. They all hurt you. Like icy rocks. Those are fun to ride on. Well, I need to ride on the ice because I can't see what's under the snow. It is what it is. I guess the smart thing to do would be to turn around. Oh yeah, that's just nice. Nice. I'm probably gonna crash. I should probably mention I'm uh, still running the stock tires on this thing. I bought some new ones, but I've just been too lazy to switch them out. Well, put on ahead. These rocks hurt when you fall on them. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess I'm just not really in the mood for this today. Felt like a nice easy stroll and this is kind of a pain in the butt. Ugh. Just a sheet of ice. It's ice underneath the snow too. That's kind of weird. Well, I keep going. And there was a hole. This ought to be pretty funny to watch. Huh. I don't know. It's not bad if I ride over here. As soon as I hit that tire rut, it's just ice. Like right there. I'm just gonna put on up here. Probably gonna crash, so I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Huh. It's getting kind of annoying. There's gotta be another trail around here. These are just icy rocks, man. Somebody who probably rides on this stuff all the time is laughing at me right now. But it's probably pretty obvious I don't really know what I'm doing. tracks. I don't think he's having near as many problems as I am. I think it's a really bad idea riding in this rut. It's just solid ice. But this is what I'm talking about. Underneath the snow there's a lot of rocks. And at least I can see what's in the rut. 
but I've been on this trail without the snow and I know there's some really big rocks in the center. And I just don't want to hit one. But I'm having a heck of a time getting any traction on this ice. I don't know if you could see it, but it's just solid ice on that rut back there. Getting a little better here. I bet this road's been nice and plowed and I'm usually not a fan of pavement, but Huh. Uh, I'm sliding down the hill. Come on. Nope. Oh, looks like it wants me to go down. I better go down. My back tire is just spinning. That's even worse. Well, I hate to say it, I'm happy to see that pavement. This is just not very fun at all. one of them rocks I was talking about. It looks like somebody hit it. Well, no traffic. Yay, black stuff. Huh. Boots caught on so All right. She going to stay? Yeah, it's pretty sloppy there. Eh. See if she falls over. So this is the uh, KTM. I have two adventure bikes I ride, the KLR and this one. I don't really have a favorite. You can see I've done a lot of stuff to this. This is a 2018 EXC 500. I got in those bags, I got my tent. Sleeping bag, cook set, food, water, just basics. It's a little cold out right now, so I got some cold weather stuff. Comes a car. I'll edit you out. It's pretty cold out. Probably about 30, 35 degrees. I don't know, maybe a little warmer now. But I like everything except for these tires. These tires suck. These are the stock tires that came with it. I haven't had any problems with the Moto Minded kit, it's holding up pretty good. You can see all that mud all over there would have hit me, but it stopped it. That's kind of nice. I don't know why I'm still muddy then, but 
It doesn't just block the wind, it blocks all that mud. So that's pretty nice. So basically how I got this bike set up, I've got the uh, Moto Minded Rally Kit on here. Trail Tech Voyager Pro. I got a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, rocked risers, different bar clamps. Uh, I've done some work to the suspension. Just stiffer springs is all I've done. Um, we got the double take mirrors. Got an oversized fuel tank. Skid plate. I got uh, these Moscow Reckless 40 bags on here. I've uh, switched out the uh, license plate bracket for something that's not so fragile. I got the FMF exhaust. I got a Vortex computer. Um, I don't know what else I've done to it. But every time I see something, I click on it and buy it. Put it on there. If I like it, I keep it. If I don't, I take it off. Um, it's a good looking bike. I really like the way it came out. I guess I could just throw snow at it and clean it off while I'm here. That works pretty good. So anyways, there she is.